Bonjour, today let's have a look at this verb, the verb voir, which means to see in the present, passé composé and the future tense. Ok folks, let's have a look at this verb, the verb voir. Now what does it mean? Voir means to see. Sometimes it can mean to understand. Now let's have a look at this one. It belongs to the third group verb, which means it's in a highly irregular verb. It's not going to be conjugated the same way as you will conjugate an ER verb, okay? You've got to understand that. So, you've got to learn it by heart. When you conjugate voir in a present tense, it, it looks like that. Je vois. Now, I see or I am seeing. Tu vois, you see, or you are seeing. Il voit, he sees, or he is seeing. Elle voit, she sees, or she is seeing. On voit, one sees, or one is seeing. Nous voyons. Let's have a look at that. Nous voyons. We are seeing, or we see. Vous voyez. You are seeing, or you see. Il voit. They are seeing or they see. Elle voit. They are saying or they see. This is the plural and a feminine version of they. Now, as you can see, you're going to tell me, but look, it all sounds the same. Voir, voir, voir. Yes, absolutely. When you see it written down, the ending should give you a clue of what the subject is. Okay, so for je, it's an S. For tu, it's an S. For il, elle, on, it's a T. For nous, it's O N S with a Y. For vous, it's E Z with a Y. And for il, elle, it's O I E N T. But you do not pronounce the E N T. So, what I suggest you do is learn it by heart. Je vois, tu vois, il voit, elle voit, on voit, nous voyons, vous voyez, il voit, elle voit. The difficulty here is nous voyons because it doesn't look anything like this infinitive. Voir. Okay? We've transformed it together and added a ye. Okay? Because you couldn't say voyons. It doesn't sound good. So, we say voyons and voyez. Okay? If I were to put this example, uh, this verb into an example, I could say, Juliette voit un singe dans l'arbre. Juliette sees a monkey in the tree. Quite simple, okay? Voir as in to see. Charlotte et moi voyons sa sœur danser sur la scène. Charlotte and I are seeing his sister or her sister for that matter danser, which means dancing, on stage. Okay, so Charlotte et moi voyons. Now you're going to tell me, but why is it voyons? I can't see it here. Well, because Charlotte et moi is Charlotte and I. If you were to replace place this subject into a subject pronoun, it would be we. So nous. And nous with voir is nous voyons. Quite simply. Okay, now the next one. Tom et Michel voient beaucoup de gens passer tous les jours au magasin. Tom and Michel voient, I-E-N-T because it's they, so they see a lot of people coming by the shop every day. Okay, so the shop is magasin, so ils voient les gens passer, ils voient les gens passer tous les jours, every day, au magasin, at the shop, okay? So these are very simple examples, okay? Well, the verb is quite simple, in effect. You could use it as, uh, ah, I understand. So you could say, ah, je vois, I see, meaning I understand. Another idiom using voir is, je ne vois pas ce que tu veux dire. I can't see what you are saying, so I don't understand what you mean. Je ne vois pas ce que tu veux dire. Another idiom using voir, ça n'a rien à voir. That has nothing to do with it. Ça n'a rien à voir literally means this has nothing to see. But it really means that has nothing to do with it. So, ça n'a rien à voir. So, as you can see, we use the verb voir in different uh, meanings, okay? So you've got to watch out for that. Now, now we warmed up into the verb voir. Let's have a look at what it looks like in the passé composé. In order to be able to conjugate this verb, you need to have the past participle. So, 
voir in its infinitive pure form becomes vu in its past participle. As I said to you, it's a highly irregular verb. You need to know this by heart. Voir, it's vu. Vu meaning seen. Okay, so I have seen. Okay. You need to know the verb avoir in the present tense in order to conjugate the passé composite. So here we go. J'ai vu. I have seen. Tu as vu. You have seen. Il a vu. He has seen. Elle a vu. She has seen. On a vu. One has seen. Nous avons vu. We have seen. Vous avez vu. You have seen. Ils ont vu. They have seen. Elles ont vu. They have seen. Now, obviously, you could translate this by I saw, you saw, he saw, and so on, okay? Instead of seen, I have seen, okay? Because in French, it's exactly the same. We have only one way of saying I have seen, and I saw, it is j'ai vu, I have seen. Now, let's have a look at the same examples again, but this time we are putting them in the past tense. Juliette a vu un singe dans l'arbre. Juliette has seen or saw a monkey in the tree. Charlotte et moi avons vu sa sœur danser sur la scène. Charlotte and I have seen or saw uh, his or her sister dance on the main stage. On the stage, la scène. Tom et Michel ont vu beaucoup de gens passer tous les jours au magasin. So Tom and Michel saw or have seen many people come by the shop every day. So here what we've done is instead of saying voir, we have seen, we, we have done a vu, avons vu, ont vu. Okay, we replaced the tenses, that's all we did, okay? Good exercise for you. Write a sentence in the present tense and try to write this verb or this sentence in the past tense and the future tense. That would be good, actually, if you did that. Excellent. Let's have a look at the future tense of voir. Okay, the future tense of voir is slightly harder. Again, you must know the, 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 the stem of the verb in its irregular form in order for you to be able to conjugate it in the future tense. So, voir is not je voirai in the present, in the future tense. Mm -mm. It is je verrai. So, what you need to know is when conjugating voir in the future tense, as in I will see, you need to know the stem. The stem is v e r ver. Okay, and then you add the endings of the future. Ré, ra, ra, ron, ré, ron. Now, I've covered that before, many times before. Have a look at all my videos on the future tense if you're not confident with this tense. Je verrai. I will see. Tu verras. You will see. Il verra. He will see. Elle verra. She will see. On verra. One will see. Nous verrons, we will see. Vous verrez, you will see. Ils verront, they will see. Elles verront, they will see. Okay, quite, quite simple. Once you know the ending and the stem of this irregular verb, you should have no problem. Okay, so if we were to use this tense in our examples, it will be Juliette verra un singe dans l'arbre. So all I've done is replace a vu or voir by verra because Juliette is she. So elle verra. Okay, she will see a singe, a monkey, dans l'arbre, in the tree. Okay, the other example is Charlotte et moi verrons sa sœur danser sur la scène. Charlotte and I will see his or her sister dance on stage. Okay, and the last one Tom et Michel verront beaucoup de gens passer tous les jours au magasin. Tom and Michel will see many people come by the shop every day. 
Now that's it for me. Have a look at the support guide that comes with this lesson. It's available at learnfrenchwithalexa.com. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Alexa, with me, Alexa Polidoro. And remember to leave a comment. I love reading your comments, especially at night. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous.